Well, hi everybody, uh, Craig here again. Now we've got the former first championship season starting in a few weeks time. Uh, unfortunately I won't be there because I'm actually going to America, but uh, for those of you who are new, well, it's going to be very exciting and I'm sure you, you desperately want to get out there and do some stuff. What we thought we'd do, we're just working on a customer's car at the moment, thought we might go through just some uh, basic checks that maybe you should be doing. Some of your guys haven't had cars out for quite a while, some wouldn't have been for last season. Um, obviously some of you are doing the winter series, so some basic stuff that you probably should check all the time anyway, uh, but definitely some good stuff to carry on with to get you started to, to know what you're doing. Start with, we'll start from the back of the car and work our way forward if you like. Um, so the gear change is always a good one, um, there's a quite down here where the gear change goes onto the shaft, can actually get loose, so make sure that nut's nice and tight, you've got no play in there going forward and back and everything else, so you don't want that sloppy. All the way up through the gear change, you want to make sure there's no play, it's all nice and firm. Coming a little bit further forward, oh actually just on that new rain light, this new rain light we're running this year so make sure you get that on before the start of the season starts and that'll be all good. Obviously if you have your car jacked up, it's the best way to look at it, you can test things, you can see things. Make sure we've got no play anywhere, all this kind of stuff going to be nice and tight. Make sure all your training arm bolts are tight, you've got no play in your rose joints, um, all that's all nice and tight so we have anything. Also make sure, which is common, is that make sure a lot of your leads, power leads, Brake lines, everything else aren't too close to the exhaust. We've got one here that, um, to me, that's a bit close, don't like that. One on the other side too, so we'll just change that a little bit. Just keep it away from the exhaust, it does get hot. The last thing we want to do is something burns through and you run out of brakes. Coming a little bit further forward, obviously we have an engine, which is a power unit, which obviously hopefully is all good from last year. We've got a new one, which will even be better. Um, just make sure that our coil's tight, the leads are tight. Again, wiring's out of the way, it's not going to get entangled in anything, the exhaust, the fan, anything like that. Um, so you want to make sure all that's nice and neat and tidy and everything's working and functioning in there well. Spark plugs, um, common thing, make sure that they're obviously in properly and also it's not a bad idea to check the tightness of your spark plugs once in a while too because the last thing you want is spark plugs to fall out, which does happen now and again. Coming further forward, we come into the cockpit. Again, make sure all your gear change mechanisms all nice and firm. Steering wheel, make sure there's no slop in that anywhere in the box we out here. You're going to get a little bit of movement, it's, it's impossible to have it perfect, but just only a little bit, not too much. Coming to the front again, make sure wheel bearings are good. Obviously these are link pins and king pins, make sure they're in good order. Might need a bit of a grease, but you don't want any play there. Plus you want it free wheeling as well, which is great. Coming to the front, obviously we've got our clutch and brake fluids. We make sure they're topped up and bled. Um, they shouldn't be a discolour, they should be all nice and clean. And make sure they're all bled or ready to go. And that makes it nice and simple. Coming to the brake, clutch pedal, accelerator. Um, we want to make sure that these are all nice too. There's not too much movement sideways. Most of the cars have a bolt situ situation down here that you can tighten. Stop sideways movements. Make sure your brake bias is adjustable, is moving, is free. Normally you might have to take your whole brake bias out every year or so. Clean it up, put it back. Um, a lot of young kids don't even know what a brake bias does or do. Um, very crucial to get the balance of your car right by adjusting your brake bias a little bit forward or back. Um, so when you're, when you're getting a better driver, you'll start realising how important that is. Um, so you must have a brake bias that works nicer. One or two clicks either way can make a big difference to your handling of the car. Um, clutch, we don't want to have too much play in the clutch before um, your clutch pedal engages, in other words disengages the engine. So there's no point pushing the clutch pedal 10mm before anything happens. So we adjust at this end, also down the far end down by the engine, we make sure there's no play. We come back here, back to the clutch on this one, the slave cylinder. This is what we're talking about, the play here. We just basically just want just, just a little bit of movement in there only. You can see that all right. Just a little bit, and that means when we push the clutch in, it's going to work straight away with no delay, and that's nice. But you must have a little bit of movement, don't have it too tight. Obviously, um, with either disc brakes or drum brakes, make sure the pads are in good condition. Um, and that you're going to last that. Last thing you want to do is go to a racetrack and you find out you need new pads that you haven't got anything else. Um, and probably the most important thing, and always remember, is never take a race car to a racetrack that's not ready to jump in and go. Um, do all your work at home, so the only thing you have to do at the racetrack is drive the car and maybe a little bit of suspension adjustments. So um, don't take the car to the racetrack knowing that you must do something before you get it. Always make sure you do that at home first. That just makes your day a lot less stressful. You jump in and go, um, and it makes it a lot easier. The other thing too that uh, it kind of, um, uh, and I guess I'm old school, 
is that when you're warming these up in the morning before we start a session or whatever, you don't have to rev the hell out of them. It's not a two stroke. All you try and do is, is warm the car up nicely so it's just idle a little bit above. Um, there's people that rev the cars loudly in pit lane and everything else. It's, you're not doing your motor any good at all. Um, it's noisy and um, the only time you should be revving your motor hard is when you're actually out on the racetrack. So it'd just be nice and friendly. Treat this as a, as a living being um, beast and you have to look after it. Treat it nicely and it's going to treat you well. So I hope you all have a great season. So I'm going to miss the first round but I'll see you all at the next one and uh, look forward to catching up with everybody. Cheers for now.